For a few years now, prototype autonomous cars have been navigating highways and busy city streets in the United States, some of them covering millions of miles. A number of them have been involved in accidents, one fatal. This makes the public, the authorities and manufacturers apprehensive. Motor manufacturers need to know whether it's their hardware or software at fault, or whether it's, whether it's the driver, and, and what the dynamic is when other third parties are involved outside of just autonomous or connected vehicles. Nevertheless, testing of autonomous cars is increasing. Sophisticated sensors can better scan the surroundings, calculate speeds and distances of other vehicles, and can react much more quickly than humans. What autonomous cars still lack is the level of artificial intelligence that can make sense of any possible circumstance. The roads are going to be a, a difficult and complicated space. And in that, in that complicated space, the data and the analytics to know precisely who is doing what at any given time is, is an immutable. It, it, it's something that, that we have to know. Another problem is how to get human drivers to adjust their driving style to share the road safely with autonomous vehicles, which are strictly following the rules. When we, for example, when we drive the vehicle at, uh, when the vehicle is driving itself at 25 miles per hour, basically, typically, several cars back up because they are trying to drive faster and the, our vehicle is actually driving at 25 miles per hour. So one has to get used to the fact that, hey, these cars stick to the rules. Analysts estimate that by 2025, the global autonomous car industry will be worth over a trillion dollars. As artificial intelligence continues to advance, researchers say cars will be able to communicate with each other, with the road infrastructure, and ultimately to learn from past experiences. If involved in an accident, they will also be able to precisely analyze the circumstances, helping insurance companies assess what happened and who is responsible. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.